Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe, Synergy Collaborative, and the Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And I was doing some research here to find out who she is, and she's got, you go with their, your website is called Sally, Sally G, but her name is Sarah. Are you there, Sarah? Hi, I'm here. Is Sally a nickname for Sarah? Yeah, I do actually have this, um, this information on my website. And the Sally actually came about um, because when I was younger, I hated the name Sarah and I loved the name Sally. Oh. So my dad always called me Sal and he's the only person who ever has. So when it came to naming my business, I just called it Sally G. It's kind of a, yeah, a fun reference between us. So. Well, that yeah. works because the internet is so confusing these days. You don't want to have those long URLs. Like I use Magic Brad. So magicbrad.com, simple to remember. Yeah. And Sally G, I'll remember that. And I really don't mind. Some people call me Sally. Some people call me Sarah. And it really doesn't matter. Some just say, hey, you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that works as well. So you have an accent and you are over in Australia, you said. Where, what part yeah. of Australia? Because it's a big place. Yeah, so Western Australia is huge. Um, I'm about 260 kilometers south of Perth um, in a place called Margaret River, which is it's Perth's premier. It's Western Australia's premier wine growing region. It's very beautiful. Okay, very I lovely. just interviewed a wine guy yesterday. He's got a, he does wine tours over in Spain. Pretty interesting. Oh, nice. And did you know that those barrels sometimes up to like $1,000 a piece? Just a barrel. The, oh, the barrels, yeah, because they're made of special woods and things yeah. like that, yeah. It takes a craftsman to do that, so that's mm -hmm. not relevant to you, but it was just a little coincidence. I like to pick up on those. <laughs> How long have you lived there? 14 years now. Oh, deep roots then, pretty much. Oh, I, I, I love it. I really do. It's, it's lovely living here, yeah. I've not been there. I need to get over there. I've been to Bali, which is close. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, if you come to Western Australia, give yourself time because from Perth, you, it's beautiful to go south and north. So, you know, you need time to get around. It's so varied. There's such a lot to do and see. Well, I've got a lot of time. 24 hours every day. I get a new batch every single day. <laughs> Just make sure you don't, don't kind of come over for two weeks and then wonder why you didn't get to see and do everything. Oh yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to do at least three because it takes you one just to get adjusted and travel and all that kind of stuff when you're going so far. Yeah. Because yeah. is it like about nine o'clock right there? Nine o'clock p.m. Uh, no, it's ten o'clock. Okay, ten o'clock. Yeah, because we're nine a.m. right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're married and got kids? Yes, my uh, boys are. I have twenty-four-year-old twins. Twins, that gotta, that's got to be fun. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Well, <laughs> that's one way. That's one way. It's hard work when they're young, that's for sure. Do they play jokes and stuff? And are they identical? So they look real similar? They are identical. They have become less identical as they got older. Sure, they get their own personality. They want to be their own they, person. They, right? Yeah, they don't, <laughs> they don't look as similar as they did. But I guess probably everyone else thinks they look identical still. So tell us a little bit about your business, because that's primarily why we're here. I read a little bit. It's a little bit about uh, hypnotherapy and kind of de diving deep and healing people that might have some. Yeah, yeah so I, I actually, I use hypnotherapy in a very specific way, um, and I use it to help people rapidly, and I mean rapidly in just a few sessions, um, overcome um, the very debilitating mental and emotional issues that can occur as a result of um, past abuse and childhood trauma. Um, so, yeah, so people have um, very long standing mental health issues, anxiety, depression, complex post traumatic stress, which are, seem to be very, very difficult to, to overcome using um, the traditional medical approach. Um, but with the approach that I use with, with hypnotherapy, it, it really, I, I, I'm beginning to think people can overcome and heal from almost anything with, with the power of the mind. It's, it's really incredible what we don't understand and what we are not told 
about what our body and our mind is capable of. Totally. Uh, you know, you're familiar with The Secret, the movie. Yes. Uh, I interviewed a lot of those people on there, and that's kind of a lot of what that is. It's kind of like Absolutely. what you say is what you get kind of thing. And yeah. totally understand with the hypnosis, the hypnotherapy, you can kind of go to the core and pull the thing out by the root rather than just kind yes. of fixing it. Because sometimes people yes. don't even know that they have an issue. Like they might be happy and their life is financial and there's just something that isn't going right. And they end up finding out that uh, when they were a kid, their mother and father told them um, $10 bills are bad. So all of a sudden yep. it, it goes in their head. And for some reason, whenever they see a $10 bill, it, it, and then you can literally he heal it in an instant yep. as soon as that awareness is there. Yeah. And of course, what you said there, that's a very simple example. But mm -hmm. when people are, let's say, children are constantly criticized or told that they can't do things properly or that they're not good enough or they don't even need to be told. Children are very, very good at taking on the blame for what's happening around them. It's, it's the stories they create to explain um, their environment and they blame themselves for things that they can't possibly be responsible for and it creates a blueprint that then runs the adult life and people can go through years and years of therapy not not picking up on this but of course when we do it with hypnosis we go straight to the subconscious and it immediately reveals what's sitting behind the issue so it's um yes yeah, it's it's, it's it's very powerful, very clever. Well, don't they yeah. say that your personality is basically molded at a very young age, like up to like 10 or something yeah. like that? You kind of got your personality and you, it could be uh, right. molded wrong. Yeah. And we're, we're all products of our environment. You know, we, we are, yeah, we, we are all molded by what we hear, what we're told, what we experience. Um, and as you say, by the age of 10, um, when you are far too young to have been able to make sense of your environment, when you are powerless, when you're vulnerable, when you have no choices, you know, you can't leave, you're just stuck, you're trapped. Um, and, and yes, you have already formed these opinions about yourself, about life, about people, what, what to expect from people, what people expect from you. Um, and it causes all sorts of chaos and confusion later on in life. Well, very no, to a, an example, I'm an example, a, a friend of mine that I grew up, I started doing magic when I was a little kid as a hobby and actually started performing and did it as a living for quite a few years. And he's still doing it. But when we grew up, I'm, we met each other when we were like four or five years old. So we were molded. And when I was a kid, money doesn't grow on trees. You know, we can't afford that. Yeah. And I've still got that where I remember a situation, I had a paper clip oh. and I bent it to use it to pick on something and I bent it back because I wanted to use it again because it's valuable. You know, you don't want to lose that paper clip. Yeah. Where his, when it, uh, his family, his dad used to come home like once a week and, and give him a silver dollar, you know? And he, so his yeah. mind is thinking in the abundance or mine is thinking of the conservation and it shows up today. And I mean, he's living on the lake and I'm in an apartment. I'm okay financially, but just that mindset, it's, it's yeah. in that space. I, I know it constantly. I'm very, you know, you don't want to spill this. Can you drink all of it? You know, it's, it's, that's my yeah. mindset. That's uh, been there. And it's interesting that you brought that one up because money stories are huge. Um, and I work with a lot of, um, a lot of women who are stuck in their businesses and they either can't launch or they can't grow their business. And a lot of it comes down to consciously, they want to, to develop and have these amazing successful businesses, but subconsciously they have another message um, about what they are, what they deserve, what they, sh what they should have, what they should expect. Um, and a lot of it will be the money story or they'll struggle to ask for enough for their products or services, again, because of what they've been taught of this scarcity mindset is, as, as you've experienced, what a great example between you and your friend. Um, and it is all down to what you were told as children. Yeah, it's incredible. And on, on that uh, 
similar topic, you can't, in my opinion, you can't really learn that from just reading a book or taking a course or you need the interaction and the, like you're working with a coach or a person like yourself yeah. that can draw that information out by asking the right questions. And otherwise yeah. you're just kind of putting another layer of the, on the onion skin. Kind of thing. Yeah, it's interesting because I actually, I have a, a, like a, a masterclass um, that is, is up on my website and it's the five, five beliefs that you need to shift um, to, to rapidly heal from CPTSD, but really it's all, all mental health issues. And one of them is that you can do this on your own. And you wouldn't believe the number of people that come to me after they've watched this and they say, it, it just struck a chord with me because I realized that over the years, I've collected all this information so that they'll read loads of books, watch things on YouTube, do all the free stuff, but they don't know what to do with it. That like you can have the information, but information is not transformation. Right. Transformation is applying the right information in the right way, in the right order, you know? Um, and that's what people really struck. There's very few people that could do that on their own, you know? So yeah, um, another question. I, I would... Uh throw it out there and say that nobody can do it on their own. You really, uh, there's yeah. always a third. I mean, if you believe in God or whatever, God interjects and pulls something out because otherwise yeah. you, you only know what you know. You don't yeah. know what you don't know. So if you're yeah. in your spy in your little fishbowl, you can't get out of it because you're in it. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, you, you don't know um, what to apply. You, you can't see, as you say, you can't see the wood for the trees. You can't see your own situation, you know? Yeah. You do like uh, like live workshops and retreats and things like that too? Um, I was planning them. I was planning them this year and then We did have COVID a situation, happened. didn't we? So, yeah, we had a situation, yeah. So, um, but I do, I work with clients all over the world because all my sessions are done via Zoom. So I'm in Australia, but interestingly, most of my clients are in the US. So I'm used to this time difference that we were pointing out earlier. So uh, yeah, I, do, I just do. You do group Zoom. sessions and things too, like online. I do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I do. Yeah. So I'm. I'm. This is on Zoom right here, but I'm thinking about giving a shot to the. There's a platform called Streamyard, which is. Which is yeah. I'm currently looking at that one as well so that I can simultaneously go live on YouTube and Facebook. So Interesting. I'm looking at, yeah. Well, my background's yeah. in the event industry, so I'm all about events. And then when this COVID thing happened, all that it came to a screeching halt. So that's why I'm doing yeah. more online stuff now. And I'm using Facebook events and Eventbrite and stuff like that to pre-promote the event. So I'm in the process right now of working out all the platforms for that. What a strange they coincidence. The they and do. They all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is good and bad. You know, it's, it's frustrating because I, the analogy I use is like a postcard, the stamps in the upper right and the return address is on the left and the address is in the middle. And it's been like that for a long time. The car yeah, always had wheels, steering wheel, brake, gas. So it's been the same for a long time. The internet. <laughs> I, know. I know. Just trying to keep up with it. So do you, I think, did I ask you, do you work in a specific niche of people? Do you t like target uh, women or do you target uh, both? Do you target um, yeah, it kind of, the people that tend to be drawn to me are female entrepreneurs. Um, whether they're working on their business or not, they're drawn to me, partly because of my own background story, because I've used this methodology to overcome my own past trauma and abuse. And obviously I am a, a female in business. So, um, but I work with men as well. So, but it, it's kind of anyone who is stuck. People, 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 people unfortunately are left to struggle with emotional and mental health issues for many, many years. Lots of people I work with have been dealing with stuff for 20, 30, 40 years. Um, so anyone, Anyone who is stuck with a mental health issue, um, basically, I can help them. I, I haven't see. come across anything yet that I can't do. I can see how that could be different in the business world for male and female because 
I think what's happening in the business world, it's becoming more authentic and nurturing rather than conquering and taking over and yeah. capitalizing. So the female yeah. might uh, be hesitant thinking, well, I can't do that because I'm a woman. And, and then the man might go, I'm a macho guy and he doesn't want to be too caring and nurturing. So you might have to pull that out of them because I believe we've got it all. Yeah, it's interesting because the men that I tend to work with, they are, they are always business people thinking about it. But um, every male that I have worked with has had trauma in their past relating to physical violence. Sure. Which is very, very interesting. It's, it's the competition, the fighting kind of thing. Physically violent uh, fathers. Mm -hmm. Every man worked with is dealing is, is trying to overcome the trauma of that and the effect on them yeah i think i had a physically violent mother instead <laughs> my really? dad was kind of low key and my mom was angry a lot oh wow <laughs> wow well my neither dad, of those are good that's for sure my dad was kind of like how i am kind of easy going you know things are fun just joking yeah, so around you're all the time. Him. yeah my mom was pick that up <laughs> oh, aside from that. what was that that's very damaging i i work with a lot of people who have been emotionally damaged by by one or both of their parents it is it could be um then you're at a young age you get molded into that and uh, you have to learn how to forgive and uh, realize that maybe they were doing that because they didn't know any better or maybe they're doing that to protect you and realize that it wasn't a dull, you know, malicious yeah. You know, yeah. thing directly towards and, and and that's a that's a big a big step. That's a big place to get to. And again, most people need help to get there. Because when you're in a lot of pain yourself from something that's happened, you don't you don't look at your parents and think, well, they did the best they could with who they were, and they were also a product of their environment. That takes that takes work exactly. to get to that place. Because yeah. they were older, they grew up in the Depression time. So that's where that probably stuff all comes from. But yeah. I've done a lot of personal development stuff uh, all my life, you know, doing breath work and yoga and all that kind of stuff and gone through courses and work on myself. And so I'm an advocate. And my wife is a coach too. So I, I get oh, it. You gotta, she's a shaman. She works right. with dream work and things. I have a, I have a friend who's a shaman. And um, actually, earlier this year, I went on an ayahuasca retreat in Peru, oh, which really? was amazing. I thought Absolutely. about doing that. How was that? That was amazing. That, that was a very, very incredible experience. I, I did love that. Yeah, because some Sorry. people go through it's kind of traumatic, but was it, it was fairly enlightening for you? Um, it was very enlightening, very healing. I healed stuff that I didn't even know I was carrying. Right. Um, yeah, it was an incredible experience. I know for some people it's traumatic. It wasn't traumatic for me. It was very, very healing. Um, yeah, an all-round incredible experience that I, I would love to do again. Yeah, well, I bet it was to... your uh, experience with hypnosis, too, that got you, that I, you, you yeah, were probably yeah. less resistant than someone else. I, I, th I think it really, really helped because I was very prepared. I was very intentional. Um, I, for a couple of months leading up to it, um, I really focused, set my intention. Um, I was kind of, I was, yeah, I was collaborating with my mind to, to make sure it was the experience I wanted it to be. Um, so I think that that definitely did help. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a good idea to fight with uh, the universe. <laughs> 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 oh dear. well again i don't like to pull these out too long but uh is there something like your, your website sallyb.com sally g. g sally g, g. yes so, yeah. good so I'm sure you'll put the the show notes up but yeah just so the name sally and the letter g lots of things on there i run a podcast as well where i interview women who have had tremendous trauma in their background um, and they, they talk about how they've overcome that and the lives that they've created. So that's very inspirational. That's there. My masterclass is there, all the information about my work. I've got you know, lots of videos on YouTube. Um, and the best thing people can do is they, um, there are free resources on there. There's a free meditation. 
a chapter Perfect. of my book. Um, but really, if people are interested in finding out more about what I do and how I might be able to help them, um, I actually offer a free 30 minutes so they can just book into my calendar and have that 30 minutes with me just, just to try and get some more insight and yep. some understanding. That's exactly what I was looking for to find out. Okay, is this a match? Do we, do we resonate? Yeah. Okay, let's yep. do this. Okay. Yep. Th and that's why I do it because I don't work. No, I don't work with everyone who approaches me. I want to make sure that we're a good fit because for me, it's all about the results. So I want to make sure that the people that choose to work with me to make sure we are, as you say, that good fit that yep. I, I know I can get a result for. Yeah. It's very important with the relationship these days to make it resonate so that you can go forward. Otherwise, you end up spending a lot of time. Yeah, to yeah. Figure stuff yeah. out. I, I just couldn't do that in what I do. Yeah. So if there's any hint of that on a on the call, I just kind of I just know that that's not going to be right. So okay. yeah. So the last name is Griffiths with an S at the end, right? Yes, that's right. Griffiths. Okay. Ta-da! Well, Sarah, I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe, and when the things open up event-wise and you got a retreat going on or something like that, you want to do another one of these to kind of pre-promote it. Oh, great. Definitely Thank get you. back on. Um, Thank you. And that's the story, Morning Glory. So I'm going to sign this off, and I'll get it out to you within an hour. Wonderful. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Peace. Thanks. Bye.